A lot of Oklahomans are still trying to recover from Saturday's severe storms. Winds topping 100 miles an hour. A family in Cushing is one of just thousands of people across the state impacted. That night, a giant tree toppled under the wind and crushed part of their home. Yeah, and now the homeowner who knows it could have been worse is quite worried he won't be able to make repairs. News 4's Hunter Elise had the details. Dylan and Jolene, when I went to the house today, trees were all over the yard. The biggest, a 70-foot-tall sycamore, fell smashing the carport and damaging the home's roof. Well, we had been sleeping for most of the evening and then just woke to this awful crash. That crash coming from this once towering tree in Liam Bird's front yard. Like a gigantic baseball bat crashing down on metal is probably how I'd describe it. His metal carport now crumbled. And uh, then took a step outside onto our porch and just see this big old sycamore destroyed our carport. And our car my car was underneath it at the time, too. His car somehow miraculously untouched. His roof is another story. I mean, it could have crashed into our living room. The tree missing the house and everyone inside by a couple feet. Could have hurt my animals, my girlfriend. It just, it could have been a whole lot more awful. Liam Bird is a proud Oklahoma State alum. He now works at the university in the library. We facilitate uh, borrowing books from other universities and other libraries. And Liam is worried between his job and mounting medical bills, he won't be able to get the mess cleaned up before another storm hits. Get the roof patched up for one and take down the sycamore, the rest of the sycamore. He hopes to get help hauling off the broken tree. It was, it was an experience, pretty terrifying one, say the least. <laughs> Liam says he's taking it one day at a time and he's thankful the situation wasn't worse. A GoFundMe is set up to help Liam and his family with the cleanup. And for more information on that, you can go to our website, kfor.com.